I need a new COVID project, so I just picked up this 1992 Ski Nautique. It's in pretty bad shape, but the guy says that the engine runs really well. I'll have to take his word for it because there's no battery in this boat. The gel coat needs a lot of work and the interior needs to be completely remade. I told my wife I'm pretty sure I can fit this in the garage. That'll be pretty necessary if we're going to be able to work on this boat at our location. If you take off the platform and adjust the front of the trailer, it should work. We'll see. Yep, that was a pretty tight fit. First thing we did was tear all the carpet out and then smooth out the fiberglass bottom. I cleaned up the engine, did some basic work like new spark plugs, installed a new battery. Now it's time to see if this thing will run. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, please. A little engine, nervous. Please, engine gods, be kind to us. Well, now that I know that the engine runs really good, can't wait to see what this boat does. I really wish it had some seats in it and was all finished so I could put it in the water and give it a test run. I'm here with my buddy Zach Mitchell. We are trying out the boat. Everything's working right. A little bit of burn off. No leaks. Gonna be a beautiful day today for some real boat work. We're gonna sand this whole thing down. This was my first time ever wet sanding a boat to remove the oxidation off of the gel coat. The process of wet sanding is that you need to get wet dry sandpaper. I was able to find this at my local O'Reilly's Auto Parts. I got 1500 grit sandpaper and also 2000 grit sandpaper. You wanna fill a water bottle up with water and a couple drops of Dawn dish soap and always keep the surface wet wherever you are sanding. This was definitely a labor of love as it probably took me about 16 hours in total to sand the entire boat. I was really happy that when it came to the decals, I was able to take the sandpaper right up against all of the letters and it did not damage the decals in any way. We had a lot of spider cracks all along the top of our boat. I used a product called Magic Easy Hairline Fix to fill in all of these cracks. I wiped as I went along, but I also took some wet sandpaper to smooth it out after it dried. After wet sanding and buffing with a compound, the next step is to start with polishing. I've already done a coarse foam polish to this boat, and now I'm doing the fine polishing. All your buffing and polishing is basically the same process. Starting out at a really low speed, you're getting the compound or polish spread evenly, and then you're working it in at a medium speed and you finish off with a very high vibration. You always need to make sure to wipe off the residue from whatever step you're on.
What do you think, buddy? So the seat was in really bad shape right here. Uh, these are not working anymore, and that one there completely busted off. But luckily, I thought this would be the hardest thing to find. Uh, we found the exact piece right here, and it's only like $40. So we'll get this cleaned up. This is actually a bulk of the time spent. The next step was to tackle the interior carpet. I thought this was going to be really difficult, but it turned out to be easier than I thought. We were careful when cutting out the old carpet because you can lay it over the new and use it as a blueprint to cut it out. From there we use a marine adhesive and a trowel to spread it out evenly and lay the carpet flat, stretch it while you go. Excited to have a new steering wheel to put on this. All you have to do to take a steering wheel off is take off the nut and washer, pull it off. And then I found out there's a lot more to it because they get corroded and stuck on there. So this is a seven ton reversible puller that we're gonna use to get this off. PV blaster, penetrating oil, it's the best. That was a lot easier. I'm going to take the new steering wheel. Then we got this guy. You don't drive 10 and 2 in a boat. You drive like this and you look at the skier. Here's the finishing touch. The Nautique Correct Craft uh, wheel sticker. So we can pretend like this is a Nautique steering wheel. You got that from Nautique Correct stuck on And there is your new Nauti steering wheel. I got a pretty amazing wife and she worked really hard through the whole process. She was actually able to find the original early 90 Nauti stickers that went on this boat and went ahead and installed them. This back's gonna look amazing. What you doing, babe? had a problem with the dash which I guess is a common problem amongst these older models but the plastic underneath all of the vinyl was completely cracked everywhere that the screw would actually attach to the dashboard these two products worked awesome to fix my problem I had JB plastic weld comes in this stick uh, putty like substance that you can actually conform and mold it to the exact shape you need. It will then harden but before it hardened I used Permatex vinyl repair kit to blend the spots in with the other vinyl. We then pre-drilled a hole and used the screw to attach the dash and we've had the boat out on the lake and it seems to be holding up really well. All right today's the day. My buddy Zabrowskis, he's got all of the interior. I'm going to pick it up right now. I can't wait to see how it turned out.
There's my buddy Zabrowskis, he's got the seats. Show me what we got, buddy. Ooh. Wow. Let's be careful. Get that. Oh, we're just. I put in a new stereo so we could have Bluetooth, and I found some great non slip padding from Walmart, of all places. This will tie in a little bit of new feature to the old boat. It looks great. Now, this is no joke. I took a pin and poked around this floor until I found the hole for the screw. All of the interior upholstery went in pretty easily. It actually only took me one morning to slap the boat together and basically have it ready to go. In the end, this boat turned out amazing. I never thought when I bought it, it would end up looking this good. Here's some before and after pictures for you to enjoy. Still can't believe how great the back turned out. That was all Rebecca. I've been telling people that this is my dream boat, quite literally. I bought a yellow and gray mountain bike when I was in fifth grade because they were my favorite colors. The very next year, the Ski Knot Teak came out and I still remember seeing the gray and yellow and thinking how much I wanted this boat. Can't believe I finally have it. It's gonna make this summer absolutely wonderful. Yeah.